hey ladies, um, I'm just taking this, I'm going to do a few videos and I'm going to send them to you, email them to you about uh, our system and some things that we might be doing or will be doing this year. Um, we're going to be doing things a little differently from last year, defensively and offensively. So um, I think that given the situation and, and it's tougher to meet and things like that, this is the best way to get this information to you so that we can adapt and, uh, and uh, adjust and be proficient at it the quickest. We, so the first thing I want to talk about is defense. We're going to play different defensively this year in that we are going to pressure more. We're going to trap more. We're going to be flying around a lot more, you know, and, and you're, we're going to make some mistakes. We might give up some easy shots, but we're hoping or definitely I'm knowing that the pressure and the result of what comes from turnovers will result in baskets at the other end. And the reason we're going to play different defensively is because I feel like we're, are, you know, we're not as tall as we were last year. So it'll be more difficult to defend at the basket. Um, and also I think that we're faster. I think that we can cover gaps quicker and we're going to be a lot deeper. So those, those are things that lend themselves very well to playing a lot more pressure defense and uh, a lot more up and down. Um, on that note, this is the way I like to coach. This is the way I'm accustomed to coaching. Um, and it, the, the, I feel like the coach needs to be fiery to coach a team like this. And, and uh, yeah, I got that covered. All right. So I'm excited about teaching this defense to you. And, uh, and I think that you're going to like it. You know, the, the main thing about this defense is you're going to make mistakes. The one mistake you can never make is you can not not play hard you've got to play hard at all times you got to be willing to fly around you got to be willing to take chances and you've got you just got to play hard all the time okay so the buzz defense is a little different than a, a typical man-to-man -man or even a one two one one you know even a half court trap it's a little different in that it plays more passing lanes um, it looks to trap it at peculiar spots that are different from uh, possibly other defenses that you've ran in the past every coach i've ever talked to and that honestly it's two and this guy is three that run the buzz have had they've had incredible success with it and um, it's something that we have to commit to playing so i'm going to show you just the the basics of it right now i'm gonna let this guy talk a little bit about it and that's about, that's all I'm going to show you. And I will show you more later. Defense, which is a very unique, um, out of the box defense that requires a certain mindset from the coach and the players uh, to be successful in. And I think that um, with the right mindset, this defense can help elevate your team. It allows you to play against people that have more talent than you do and be highly successful but i think it also really allows you to beat teams that you should be if you're better than and it really allows you to control the tempo of the game um and and i think if you do it right i think it's something that gives your kids a lot of joy kids love to play i've never heard one player come back and say they didn't enjoy really playing the buzz defense all right so uh philosophy of it so he talked about the that kids love to play it, you know, and that's that's the one thing I think you're going to find is that you're going to love to play it. Um, so we're going to watch a little bit of this because I think you know I think I've probably piqued your interest now. So let's let's watch a little bit and see what he has to say about the philosophy. I think the number one thing that makes this defense uh, successful is aggression. You know, I think as a, as a coach, it's really easy to get caught up in the science of teaching whatever you're teaching and being in the right spot and, and doing the exact right thing. But the art of this defense, teaching the art of it, giving the kids the freedom to fly around and make decisions and just play with total abandon without fear of making mistakes, the art of the teaching is what takes this defense to a whole nother level. So there's the one little thing that I may have a little bit of trouble adjusting it as will you 
is that you've got to have the autonomy or the freedom to fly around and make mistakes. Um, the one thing that I, I want to harp on and make sure you guys understand, even though you're going to make mistakes, you've got to recover out of those quickly. Okay. And that recovery out of those defensive mistakes oftentimes will result in a deflection or uh, that may lead to a turnover or a steal. So it's just because we're playing a defense that, that is, you know, allows mistakes, expects mistakes and predicated on aggression doesn't mean that you get to loaf out of a mistake. If you make a mistake, your recovery means everything. It is by far the most important piece between the science and the art. Um, <clears throat> one of the discussions in terms of philosophy is, well, and having coached women's basketball for so many years, uh, there's a lot of discussion, well, would this work in the men's game? Most of the footage you're going to see in this DVD is with a high school boys team. I'm currently the athletic director at Lakeland High School up in the panhandle of North I of Idaho, um, which is a beautiful area. And, and this is a, I'm at Lakeland High School. And the video that you're going to see is of the high school boys team this year running the buzz and having a great deal of success running it. Um, I think a lot of people will say, well, there's lob it over the top in the men's game and they play closer to the rim and uh i would contend that this is very similar to what coach beeline's doing at michigan with the exception coach beeline's playing passing lanes and uh not maybe pressuring as hard out of uh the one three one that he's running and i don't see a whole lot of people lobbing the ball over the top of his defense for dunks uh consistently um, this defense provides a little bit more basket protection, but it also allows you to put constant pressure on the basketball. Uh, and if the ball is continually being lobbed, then um, just like in your man-to-man -man defense when the ball's getting lobbed at a low post, uh, if you're a front and bury team and push baseline, then you're going to get after the people guarding the basketball and ask them to pressure the ball harder. It's very similar in the buzz. So he's talking about it. it and this will be something that we might be susceptible to this year if we do not do this effectively, is the lobs into the post. And I've always said and that you've got to pressure the ball to minimize the, 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 the chances of them lobbing the ball in the post. You know, typically a lob pass is, is, a high, is a high skill level pass, and they need a little time to make the pass. Well, if you're pressuring the ball, guess what? They can't do that. So you've got to make sure you have great ball pressure. Uh, I think philosophically, I think the buzz is really, really good in concert with a really good man-to-man -man defense that, that's uh, highly pressured. And um, so it's consistent. The kids get really good at closing out and being proactive and anticipating the next pass. Uh, one of the things about the buzz that I really like, and in this day and age when <clears throat> we're coaching kids that, uh, teams that you actually don't get to really control the messaging around your team anymore as much as we used to as coaches, even in college. Because as soon as kids get done with practice, they're on the phone telling mom and dad, I'll practice just when, what coach said. So controlling the messaging around your team is very challenging. And in the years now with helicopter and lawnmower parents, it's getting harder and harder to get kids to play hard and without you becoming a casualty professionally. And I think, um, how do we do that? We have to look for you. I have a remedy for those for, for this uh, that I think minimizes the difficulty of getting kids to play hard. If you don't play hard, you don't play. So that, I think that'll, that'll, make a, that'll make sure all of you play hard. Unique ways to do that. I think the buzz, because it's so fun for the kids to play and the freedom that you give them, it makes it a lot easier to get kids to really play hard. The very first concept of the buzz is if you don't play it really, really hard, you're going to look really, really silly. And, you know, I helped with a team last year that uh, we, he, the coach wanted to run nothing but the buzz. That's all we did, one possession after the other. And the one thing that I really liked about that was that it forced – the, the players to play hard. They had to learn how to sustain an effort over a period of time 
that I think really helped them. And it made them more aggressive offensively. And uh, just overall, I think their mindset changed because it had to. So that's one of the things I really liked about the Bucs. Um, the evolution of it has been really interesting for me. And I think uh, it fits my personality as a coach extremely well. It may not fit yours. It's not for everybody. Um, just like most of us don't want our programs to be for everybody. I think it's for a, a select group of coaches that, that are really aggressive minded and understand the, the benefits that that kind of aggression creates in a game and, and the benefits that brings to your team. Um, if you're a real calculating safe coach that wants to make sure you're con you're never lunging, you're never out of position. Of course, that's how you want to play man to man defense, but you just, you're very calculating you're not going to be comfortable with the buzz and you're going to be constantly wanting to move the guards back or start in a one, one alignment. And then it's not the buzz anymore. You, you might as well play a really good Fresno matchup or. All right. So th this is important for uh, one of the things that have sold me on this defense for our program is the, is that I think that one thing that I have been, very, very pleased with coaching at Assumption is I, I have really been pleased with how hard my players are willing to play. Furthermore, my demeanor as a coach is one is very aggressive and it's very it ta it, to take chances. And, and, you know, it's, 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 uh, I've won and lost games by taking chances. And, uh, and so it's a lot more fun. And, you know, I always say victory favors the bold. So this is just a little bit about this defense. The next video, which I'll probably send in the next few days, will be dealing with uh, the setup of the defense. And, and ultimately we'll watch the whole thing and we're gonna start drilling this in practice. So you need to kind of have a, a, a working knowledge of what's going on a step at a time. All right, so, hey, Defense wins championships. We're going to be the hardest working defensive team in the state of Kentucky on all three levels next season. Go Rockets.